The Raven Lord has sent his forces to conquer the world. In its defense, it has called forth the Champions of Azeroth, Sanctuary, and the Corprulu Sector. They battle endlessly, for in this world, death is merely a setback. The only hope for the Nexus is... Betrayer. Some would say the title is up for this particular character. Others would insist that he was the one who was betrayed. One thing is certain though. You are not prepared! The Night Elf Illidan Stormrage was born 10,000 years ago, during the War of the Ancients. His golden eyes, a rare event in Night Elf society, was considered a sign of great destiny. Throughout much of his life, Illidan competed with his brother, Malfurion, for the affections of Tyrande Whisperwind. While Malfurion followed the path of the Druid, Illidan chose the path of raw arcane power and, like most other arcane users, became increasingly obsessed with acquiring more power. To this end, and in order to impress Tyrande, Illidan even made a temporary pact with the demons of the Burning Legion. His reckless behaviour during the war against the Legion and the creation of a new Well of Eternity, both supposedly done in order to serve his people, eventually landed Illidan in prison where he spent a sentence of 10,000 years. He was eventually released by Tyrande herself and pledged his assistance against a renewed invasion of the Burning Legion. To this end, he consumed a demonic artifact known as the Skull of Gul'dan, granting him immense powers and helping in halting the invasion. However, his fellow Night Elf saw only the corruption and the hunger for power that now gripped Illidan, and he was banished from his people by his own brother. Illidan then... once again aligned himself with the Burning Legion. This time he was tasked with eliminating one of the Legion's more rebellious subjects, the Scourge. Failing in his task, the now insane half-night elf, half-demon took refuge on the shattered world of Outland, becoming its new ruler in the process. Opposed to both the Legion and the heroes of Azeroth, Illidan was eventually killed by his old jailer, with no one left to mourn him. Illidan once slew a mighty demon named Azanoth, and now wields said demon's twin warglaives. Having trained with these weapons for ten millennia, Illidan is an expert in their use, both physical and magical. His basic attacks can apply the mark of Azanoth on his targets, which enhance several of his abilities while fighting. The Skull of Gul'dan granted Illidan the ability to temporarily turn into a demon, dramatically increasing his power and life. As an assassin hero, Illidan is an expert at dealing damage, and his metamorphosis helps keep him alive for any counter-attack. We hope you've enjoyed this look into Illidan's history and his role in Heroes of the Storm. For more information on the game, check out the Eye of the Storm podcast right here on youtube.com forward slash The Smoking Gamer.